Okay, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to get you up and running with PlayStation 2 or PS2 on Recall Box. So before I get into this setup, guy, let me just ask you if you can hit notifications and also subscribe if you like this video and be sure to check out my other setup guides. So let's get into this. What we're going to do is just go into the USB drive, which you've got recall box installed to, and we got a share file here. So let me just make a note that we got our default drive, which is what Windows presumably is installed onto, what you're using for Windows. And we got two others here. So Recall Box has two partitions. We got Recall Box just here. So nothing goes in this one. This is the one you need to be using. This is Share. And this is Marty's F drive on my computer. So first of all, BIOS files are going to go into this folder just here. And we're going to look for PS2 in this setup guide. So Recall Box needs four ps2 bios files as we have just here now i've used the same bios files on other front end systems like i say i've covered many front ends on my channel recall box on the other hand needs these bios files named very specifically so once you've got these bios files just drag them into that share bios folder and if you back out of here we're next going to go to the roms folder and in roms we're going to find PS2. PS2 is only going to work on PC versions of Recall Box. So uh, if you're using a Raspberry Pi, uh, to my knowledge, you won't be able to run PS2 games. Or if you can, they're going to be very choppy because of underpowered hardware. So, anyways, I got my Auto Modelista PS2 game, which I always use for these setup guides. And I'm going to drag this into my PS2 folder. And this could take a little bit of time. Some PS2 games are pretty big. So just bear with it. Okay, so once your PS2 games are transferred over onto your Recall Box USB stick, we can just close our computer now and boot up into Recall Box. And I thought I'd add to this little booting up part. If you're unsure how to boot into Recall Box, uh, you're having problems, then let's just boot into BIOS. So on my laptop I'm using, which is the ASOS Viva book, I'm going to just hold down the F2 button and press power button together. And this is going to bring me into my BIOS menu. But just remember, different motherboards have different buttons to press to enter into BIOS. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do once I'm inside a BIOS is go to boot priority. And I want to put my recall box USB stick into the first priority. And also, some of you might have problems with security. So what I do is press F7 to go to advanced mode. Then I'll go to security. And under secure boot, you want to disable this. So once that's been disabled, we can then press F10 and save configuration and reset. I'm going to press OK. And this is going to boot us into recall box now rather than Windows. And just press the first option. You don't want Verbrose, you just want standard recall box. Uh, Verbrose is for debugging, whereas recall box standard will just boot you in. Okay, so once you're booted into Recall Box, if you just scroll down, you should come across PS2 like we have here. And here's the game I've just put onto USB stick. So let me just go into some video setting details and different emulator and core options for PS2. If we just go into the options menu, I'm pressing start on my PS3 controller. From here, we can go to main menu and then just go down to come to advanced settings. And from advanced settings, you want to go into advanced emulator configuration. So this menu is going to offer you options for every system that Recal Box emulates for. So under here, we're going to find Sony PlayStation 2. And under Sony PlayStation 2, we have got a Libretro core to use, which is a RetroArch core. And we've also got the standard PlayStation PCSX2 standalone emulator for this. Now, either one of these will likely do you some good, and the other one might do you some bad. So it's a case of experimenting with both of these. Aspect ratio is obviously going to give you a 16 by 9 ratio, uh, or different other ratios that you might like to try. So personally, I'm going to just put this on core provided. And game smoothing is going to smooth out some pixelation if we come across any. And also under shaders, uh, we've got loads of filters here and shaders to use, such as scan lines and sort of general enhancements. And under shader set, 
we've got scan lines again and we've also got a CRT old school curved look. So personally, I'm going to keep all of these on none and I'm going to just boot into the game. So let me just say, not all PlayStation 2 games are going to work flawlessly on Recal Box. I've tested out a couple, and this one, for example, has got some good parts and some bad parts. But this is largely down to video settings, that type of thing. I'm going to show you in a minute how to get into retro arts from Recal Box. So to get to Retro Arch menu as you're playing a game, I'm pressing my PS button on my PS3 controller and my X button together. So that's hotkey and B key. So we get into the Retro Arch menu and from here, I'm going to just go to Quit Menu and just scroll down to Options and you have a multitude of different video options here. Many options which Recall Box don't have. So in some cases, you do need to access this Retro Arch menu. So from the RetroWatch menu, we have video internal resolution, and this is where you can bump up the game's look. So for example, this says it can go up to 5K, or you can just put it down to 720p, or even run it natively like I'm doing right now. Other ones to look at under here, which Recal Box don't feature, is anastrophic filtering. So that's another one to consider to make your PS2 games look a lot better. And we've also got texture filtering just here and so on. So that's it for my recall box and PlayStation 2 setup guide today. Like I said at the beginning of the video, check out my other tutorials. I also cover Retro Bat, Batis Era and Launch Box. And just remember with PS2 or recall box, not every game is going to run perfectly like on other platforms such as Batis Era, but it really is a case of trial and error in those video sets which you can find under RetroArch. Check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.